Lunar New Year, time for fun, great food, and fireworks. But imagine yourself at a party, living your best life, and then someone walking in to take it away from you in a few seconds, just because you're Asian. Breaking news, unfortunately, sad news. A mass shooting that has killed 10 people and wounded at least 10 others. I studied in both countries, the US and Canada, but as the title to this video, the choice was very obvious for me. And here's my five reasons why. Number one, Canadians are accepting of diversity. Picture a young lady who's got her entire life in front of her, who goes to high school. She's soon to graduate, but she's very popular. Everybody wants to be her, guys want her. Her life is amazing. One day she wakes up and realizes that she's pregnant after taking a pregnancy test. And the father of the baby turns out to be another popular high school kid who happens to have rich parents who has everything figured out, um, he knows where he's gonna study, everything's great, and they seem to like each other even. So when he finds out, he's not mad at her, he's actually supportive, and he starts <laughs> picturing the life they could live together, growing older while taking care of the baby. But there's one detail I missed. His parents don't want a dark-skinned baby because they're white Americans, and they don't want to ruin their bloodline. That was the unfortunate discovery I found when I went to high school in the US. And it wasn't a single experience like this. I've talked to so many different people, including Americans, who chose Canada over the States because of this racial problem. Versus Canada, where people are surrounded from a very early age by different people from different countries, such as Nigeria, India, China, France, so they grow up in a much more diverse environment, therefore there is less hostility. Number two, money above life. If you break a hand in the US or you need a surgery, your medical bill can be in tens of thousands of dollars. And guess what? It's not uncommon in the States to be refused medical care if you don't have a valid credit card. Up north in Canada, there's universal health care. We all pay taxes, we all contribute to the country, therefore we have this medical safety net to fall back on. Yes, the wait times are crazy, but still, you will not be refused medical care in terms of emergencies that you have to have a surgery or let's say you broke a leg, so you need to uh, take care of it. And even if you're not a citizen or a permanent resident, you still receive that medical care. Number three, divide and conquer on steroids. Watch this and let me know what you think. It's sad to see how Republicans in the US demonize people against each other in order to win the elections without understanding the consequences of mass shootings and total hatred that takes over the country. And of course, Canada is not perfect, but when it comes to politics, there are certain lines that are never crossed when it comes to certain values. Number four, immigration opportunities. As an international student in Canada, if you study for two years, you get a three-year post-grad work permit, then you need one year of work experience to apply for permanent residency and then later citizenship. I even spoke with the Minister of Education recently and he explained that immigrants are critical to Canada's economy and its growth and therefore, they do everything in their power to retain international talent, unlike the US where it seems like they neglect international students and prioritize illegal immigrants or those seeking asylum. Number five, going up the ladder is easier. Canada is known to have a greater social mobility than the US. What social mobility? That's essentially one's ability to advance in their career or business by relying on their knowledge and skills and not people that the person knows. So not using nepotism to advance, which is often the case in the States, unfortunately. And in Canada, there are a number of factors that really contribute to this. For example, we have a very well-funded public education system that allows for 
different people from different social classes to learn and advance. A more equal distribution of wealth. In Canada, the gap between the rich and the poor is smaller compared to the states. Of course, it exists and it's obvious sometimes when you see homeless population of Vancouver or Toronto, but still, it's not as huge as it is in the states. And of course, a stronger social safety net. We all know about the universal health care already in Canada, where you don't really need to have any money to receive medical treatment. And on top of it, there's other social mechanisms that support you when you're struggling to make ends meet. I believe if you're not a multimillionaire, Canada is a better country than the US. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, like this video, and if you're interested in moving to Canada via the student immigration route, I'll be happy to hop on a call with you to build a strategy. The link will be in the description below, and I'll see you next Sunday.